So hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new, which you most likely are. This week, I'm doing a full-blown Poshmark haul. The reason this took so long and I have been talking about this for so long is between shipping delays and just all of these different obstacles that everybody has to go through, shipping some of these took really long. Part two is that I bought a lot of stuff and could not help myself and there's stuff that isn't here but I will show some pictures if I can remember. So no chronological order today. I'm gonna show you guys what I got, explain my experience as a buyer and then I'm gonna tell you guys about how I sold some stuff on Poshmark. So if you do wanna check out my Poshmark closet, the link is below along with all of my other social media. If you really want to see me a lot because if you do like what's up let's be friends i don't know the first items that i have i actually used to own and i accidentally donated them and did not mean to and was heartbroken about it and spent days trying to find them online because these were like staples in my wardrobe and still are staples in my wardrobe i thought i would show you guys but i did used to own two out of three of these so they're all the same style, they're all the same size. They're these off the shoulder, or sorry, cold shoulder ribbed t-shirts from American Eagle. They sold them like three or four years ago. Um, this is just a black one. Um, they have like ruffle cold shoulder. I think they also made it in green, but I only have these three. This is the pink one. So the black and the next one I'm gonna show you are from the States, but this one is from Canada, so um, I did used to own this exact one, but I think it was a size smaller. I could only find them in a size larger, which is fine. And then the black and white striped one. Uh, this one's new with tags. I got these two from the same seller and the pink one from someone else. So these two are from the States. These ones are from the States. I paid 20 Canadian dollars for, no, 16 Canadian dollars for these two. And then $8 Canadian for this one. So not a bad deal. The next thing is this new with tags. Oh my god, I have hair on all over it. It's a white ribbed Ralph Lauren turtleneck sweater. It's a turtleneck, it folds over. New with tags, so this was originally $85 and I paid $25 for it. And I cannot get enough of white turtlenecks, so this is perfect. I have one that's a mock neck and this one is a perfect roll neck so I love that. To follow that same trend, oh my gosh the bin I put these in must have been dirty. I got a vintage Ralph Lauren black turtleneck. It has the Ralph Lauren on the neck instead of in the metal detail on the bottom. This is a super oversized sweater. I love it so much. It's so, oh my god focus on my face. It's so thick and I know that it's like summer but I hate summer clothes. It takes like, it's like ripping out teeth to get me to buy shorts. So I'm always on the hunt for like fall and winter clothes because that's when my fashion, my style really thrives and flourishes and I just feel the most myself. I think I said that before in a video, like almost exactly like that, but yeah. The next shirt that I got is this oversized Star Trek t-shirt. I thought this was really cool, a really cool top. And because it's oversized, I'm able to knot it and it looks kind of cool. So I'm really excited about this. Even though I haven't watched Star Trek because I'm that person, I still think it's a cute look and I do expect to watch Star Trek eventually. The next top is this beautiful vintage blouse. It's oversized so I can tie it in a knot because it is buttoned up. And I don't know what it is about this top, but the minute I saw it, I knew I needed it. And I just think it's so freaking cool like I don't know and it's so soft and silky and beautiful it's just overall like an A1 top and I think I got these in a bundle for $25 this in the t-shirt so that's a really good deal but now moving on to pants I got a couple pairs of jeans one of them actually got lost in the mail and will not be coming so that's really unfortunate uh, the first thing that I got are these vintage LL Bean mom jeans they have a roll bottom and these are really cool because they have like a lot like like almost like an elasticated hip or waist side but it's only like on the sides which is really cool so it really like 
even though it's really stiff denim there's a little bit of give at the waist which is appreciated and it also has a really cute like vintage L bean patch with it which I thought was amazing and I think these were $25 so for a good pair of upcycled jeans I'm proud of this purchase I also got this pair of ASOS mom jeans no straight leg jeans but they are too big for me so I'm not sure I might dart the back of these or I'll just wear it with a belt but they are really pretty they're like a very a stone wash dark wash denim if that makes sense the next pair but they are vintage high-waisted jeans so they have a high waist they don't have butt pockets which is really weird to me and they flare out but they are way too short on me and I'm not like that tall I'm only 5'8 so I don't know why they're so short on me but they are short shorts so I don't know what I'm going to do with them they're also a little bit big I also purchased this denim jacket that I'm gonna put here I'm washing it right now which is why I don't have it and I needed to film this video so this is it it's I saw best dress wearing one really similar and miraculously this popped up on my Poshmark feed and I thought that that was really cute and really cool and it's also has Sherpa lining and insulated sleeves so it's perfect for fall and winter weather which I love so much and I also bought this Fjall Raven Kankin bag which hasn't arrived yet because I am basic as well I'm basic that's that's basically all I can say and I thought that it would be really cute and would be awesome for school when we eventually decide to go back and it's awesome for, to just like carry around as just like an everyday bag when we can do everyday activities so I got this pair of size 9 vans they were basically brand new they had a little bit of like fading on some of the black canvas parts but overall they were really good and I had a pair of vans before that my ex-boyfriend bought me and I wore them to the point where the sole had a hole in it and I wore them like every single day so I just knew it was time to bring them back and yeah they were they're really awesome shoes they're really durable and I find that they last a long time and they're pretty comfortable I'm just gonna bring one boot up but I bought these knee-high boots these were trendy a couple years ago and so there's an abundance of them online. Um, I thought that they would be a really good thing to pair in the fall with skirts and stuff and dresses. So that's kind of why I bought these. Also for a night out, I feel like these could be really cute. So I'm kind of hoping to do something with these. They're also really comfortable given the fact that they're pretty high. The next thing that I have, I think is my favorite thing that I have. And it's these 90s boots. They are a chunky heel. They have minor wear on them, but overall they're pretty good quality. They're a black leather chunky boot moment. And I think that these are amazing because these are great for jeans. These are great for skirts, great for dresses. This is such a good boot. And because the shoe itself is so wide and the heel is so thick, these are so comfortable for walking. And I cannot wait to style these. I wish that it was socially acceptable to wear these kinds of boots in the summer, but unfortunately it's way too warm. They don't have that much wear, like the inside of the shoe is like looks like brand new. I just, these were such a good deal and I'm so excited. I had my eye on them for a long time and like I really wanted to think about it before I purchased them. And by the time I was like, you know what, I'm going to think about these boots if I don't buy them. They were still available. I got a good deal on them and they're also secondhand, which is awesome. I find it so hard to find some really sturdy secondhand shoes. And in this one haul, I got three. So that's pretty sick, if you ask me. The next couple of things I got from the same store, from the same seller, I got a couple of pairs of earrings. The first pair are these like square moments. Um, they're really cool. They're like these vintage, these really big vintage earrings. I also got a second pair that look like so I don't know if you can actually see them but they are <laughs> they make my face look funny but they are just so pretty I think these are so good to just like bring attention up to my head next I bought this vintage mug this is from the same shop I got a really good deal on these as well I thought that the art on it was really beautiful and that I could not live my life without it it's a beautiful vintage vibe I love my vintage vibes and this is perfect for tea and hot chocolate and coffee and finally we're getting to the end 
of the haul part. I got this catch-all tray. It's in the shape of a seashell. I thought it was really like vintage looking, like it gave a really cool vintage look. And it's also really easy for, I feel like it's a good accent piece for any room. And it's also just like so versatile. It can be put like in a bathroom, in a living room, in a bedroom. And I might be moving in a couple of months. So I thought that this would be a cool touch whether I stayed where I am now or if I moved. I feel like it's such a versatile piece and such a easy piece to style that it would look fabulous wherever I decide to put it. So that concludes the haul portion of this video. Overall, my thoughts of shopping from Poshmark is I like that I was, I've been able to thrift, thrift from the comfort of my home. I don't have to go through the risk of going to a thrift store, even though they're not even open, so I can't even do that. The one downfall is, actually there's two. A is the shipping cost. It can cost you between nine and $12 to ship any item, which is why they recommend doing bundles so much. I think that that's a little bit excessive. There's not really much else I can say. <laughs> it's just expensive for shipping. Two is sometimes if you make an offer on an item, sellers just don't respond to you. They don't decline your offer or counter your offer. They just ignore you, which is really frustrating. But on the other hand, it's really great when you can negotiate an even better deal, which I love. So it's kind of like a positive negative type thing. In terms of selling, I think that the experience is super, super smooth. I was able to sell two items so far. People bought them. I got the prepaid shipping label. I just put them in a larger envelope and was able to send it off. So overall, it's a really quick and easy way to sell your stuff. The only thing is your stuff might not get sold. So it's not like the end all be all of selling your clothes. You can obviously go to other retailers to try to sell them like Plato's Closet and they will give you cash on the spot. So you kind of have options. You just need to make sure that you update if you do sell it elsewhere and make sure that you're responding to people who are offering on your stuff. It's just annoying if people don't answer. There's also a way for you to give your buyers discounts. So if somebody likes your listing, it's really easy to give them 10% off as well as lower shipping costs, which is something that I try to do as often as possible where it's justifiable, but it's not something that you have to do. It's more something that like you can do if you want to try to get more sellers in. So it's really interesting. It's really cool to try to learn a little bit about how that kind of side of thrifting and secondhand shopping works. I think that it was a really great learning experience for me. And overall, like I will use Poshmark more regularly. I do use it a lot still. And if there's ever something that I feel is missing from my wardrobe, I immediately go to Poshmark to buy it or to at least look for it um, just so that I can try to purchase a little bit more sustainably. Um, I've also purchased a couple of things that aren't in this haul for videos that I have coming up. So it's a great way to just kind of recycle clothes, especially if it's for like a video or something because then I'm not kind of putting more into landfill than necessary, if that makes sense, which is amazing. So yes, overall, I very much recommend Poshmark. They are available in the United States as well as in Canada. That's pretty much all for this week's video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've ever used Poshmark, what you think about Poshmark. Just tell me, give me your thoughts, man. I wanna know. If you are new, please subscribe below. I post tons of content ranging from commentary to fashion, Sometimes I do beauty, not very often, like lifestyle. I post a wide variety of things. And if you have any things that you want to see on my channel, let me know below and I will do my best to get to it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on Sunday, I guess. Bye. Bell, bell.